Pachamama. Pachamama. Apu San Cristobal. Open the bun to Mother Earth. Mama Cocha. Pork. Perfect. Tirivisiuta. Sweet potato. Sweet potato. Mm. Ancha kusiska. Few coca leaves. Interesting. The earth has given me this sandwich. You guessed it right. I'm in Lima. Lima, Peru's capital. From here, the Spanish king used to rule the continent. The first university, printing press, and theater of South America were built here. Alongside these achievements, the Spanish conquest almost erased the Inca culture that was here before them. But this fascinating civilization exists, particularly in the kitchen. Peru is the motherland of the tomato and the potato. Its kitchen includes 468 dishes, which is a lot. I have 24 hours to taste as many dishes as possible and try to unravel a thing or two about the Peruvian culture today, which is a mystery to me. <laughs> the city of Lima is a mystery to me, not only because of the mist, that the city lays in most of the year, but also because it's seven and 12 minutes in the morning and I have not yet had my breakfast. Now, if there is one thing that is clear to me, as clear as the sun shines in the morning, is that you start your day here in Lima with pan con chicharron. Good morning. Hi. 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 I heard that here's the best pon con chicharron in town. Yes, we got it all that you want. All right. So do you think I can maybe come around and see what how it's done? Yeah, of course. You're more than welcome. Perfect. Wonderful. So this is this is it. It's really this looks amazing. I mean, you know, I'm used to that in the morning you have some toast, you know, maybe with some butter bit of jam, but this is like, wow, you've got your turkey, you've got pork, you've got ribs. And where's the recipe from? Exactly. My father. Ah, this is your father. Oh, yeah. I see, <laughs> yes. I'd love to see exactly how it's done. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's chicharron away. Okay, this is great. I'll be in the middle. Oh, I my see. God. This is la pieza. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I am street food man. Beware. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Yes. Yes. And now you need to cut in the slice of 15 centimeters. More oh. well, this is very, very precise yeah. work. So we cut all of this stuff, we need to boil in our Peruvian recipe. All right, here we go. Uh, what is it boiling in? Well, we have some garlic, some chili. We have this boil around 45 minutes. And what? We need to put it in deep fry because all the ingredients that we have here in the boil, here is going to be more tasteful. You like it crispy? crispy. Yeah, yes. of course. So, so do I. Could, oh. I. could I take one out? Yeah, sure. All right, a big one. I've got a big one here. <laughs> all right. In you go. Check this out. Rico. <laughs> This combination is a Peruvian thing? This is Peruvian, Peruvian combination. We put it the pork and the sweet potato, the salty thing and the sweeter thing. I see. So we are one step closer in understanding the <laughs> secret of Peru, the sweet potato maybe. Exactly. The sweet and the savory. I feel like we're getting close here. Yeah. Onion, lemon, All right. cilantro, 
chili. And all of this. And all this. Eight o'clock in the morning. Eight o'clock in the morning. Wow. Well, you know, when I see this, I understand why you're smiling all the time. <laughs> exactly. Well, I think I'm ready to have my first bite of my pan con chicharrón. Oh. Oh. Ah, okay. All right. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. Bon Here we go. I want to thank you very much for talking to me, but before I go, if you don't mind, let's all look into here. Yeah. Smile, your nice big smile. Bigger, <laughs> bigger, 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 bigger. All right, and I'll say pan con chicharron. The roux can roughly be divided into three parts. You have the shore, you have the Andes, and you have the rainforest. And I think it is definitely time for some jungle action. I think I'm in the right place. Hola! Hola, hola! I would like some tacacho, please. This is the tacacho. This is plátano frito. So this is the tacacho? This is the tacacho. The pena is cut in four parts. Luego se fríe y se trae así, se machaca. Uh -huh. Se echa sal. Fry it and you mash it? Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Con chicharrón. Can I come in and, yeah. and see how you do it? Okay. Oh, okay. So, can you eat it like that? Can I? No. No? No. Why not? But it looks just like a banana. No. Ese es plátano especialmente de la selva para hacer tacacho. Okay, so this is not a banana. You cannot eat it raw, you have to fry it or cook it. So, could I come in and, and see how you make it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. great. Oh my God! What is, what, what, what is that? <laughs> Are these your pets? Ah, ah, no, 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 no! What are you doing? No, put it back! <laughs> oh, they're, they're really no. sweet. Ah, no! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm here with a crazy woman. What is going on here? No, no, no! This is a nightmare. What's going on? All right, we'll put the worms aside. Um, let's just stick to the bananas, all right? So we have here fried platanos. Platano con chicharro. Con chicharro. Sal. All right, so we mash them up. Now, is this a common dish? Se come. All right, so it's from the rainforest, so it's very, it's like a jungle dish. When you cook, do you sing? Sí, canto, bailo, bailo, canto. Ah, okay, here we go. On it goes. Splat. What is that? This is Sina. Are you from the jungle? She's a jungle woman. Why is the jungle here in Lima? Porque hay bastante selváticos. This is a morning dish? Acá lleva sopa y segundo, porque te llena solamente con eso, ya no tienes hambre. So that's why it's a morning dish, because you, if you have it in the morning, the banana kind of coats your, your stomach and you're not hungry for the rest of the day. Sí. Wow, I feel like a jungle man now. Oh! When visiting Lima, you can immediately sense the diversity and the intertwined culture. You have a rich history, rich soil, and a rich soul. So I'm on my way to meet my good friend, Chef Gaston Acurio, who's taking me to Monte Rico Market in order to put some order in this overwhelming richness. It looks fantastic. Yes, yes. You have all these kind of vegetables and fruits. Very cozy. This is from the Andes. It's called Tumbo. Wow. Check it out. <laughs> and what is that? This is a new fruit we just rediscovered. Really? It's at 4,000 meters of altitude in the Andes. It's called Sanki. So this is a new it's ancient kind of, fruit. Yes. Go ahead. 
We didn't, mm. I didn't knew, I didn't know that this exists. We have in Peru 85 weathers in just in one country. This really is such a yeah. rich country. For a chef, it's heavy. It's a more, yeah. Well, I, I guess maybe that creates part of the mystery of, of Lima and, I mean, of Peru for me. That there's so much going on. He wants me to taste his ceviche. So sure. let's, let's try it. Okay? Yeah, we'd love to. But they're making it on the spot. They're doing it like that immediately in two minutes. In two minutes? Yeah, you see the lime? It's done. It's done? Yeah. So quick. I mean, this is the perfect street food. It's cheap, it's nutritious, it's fresh. Mm. Good, huh? Mm -hmm. And if it's too spicy, it is brew corn. It's like, like a, our soda. I mean, it's absolutely purple. So yeah. This is one of the most powerful foods in the world because a lot of mm. antioxidants. This in a cup. And this is a popular drink here? Very popular. Very popular. In Lima, it's very popular. And now you promised me yeah. your own... I'll do one for you. Okay. One of Mr. Prado, let me clap. Who's going to do one ceviche for me? Yes. The master himself. All right. The world looks completely different from here. Yeah, it's like mm. a kind of acting. So you have to talk, you have to smile, you have to make the people happy. Uh huh. You have to surprise them. I'm okay. ready. Let the show begin. Let's do a ceviche, and they're going to give this ceviche to another person. Okay. We don't want a spice in it. We have the. So you're just rubbing the chili on the. Yeah, yeah. We need to put some salt, a little Coriander. bit of this. Now we have, we're going to put some black scallops inside. All right. Go ahead, go ahead, without yeah. the friend. Everything. Everything. Right. Yeah, 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 go Everything ahead. Everything goes in. Yeah, I'm going to put some more lime. Now, I mean, this whole idea of ceviche yep. could, was developed uh, how? At the beginning, we didn't have us lime in Peru. Lime came with Spanish. Uh -huh. So ceviche was made with red chili and with salt. They preserved a little bit. Chili and salt, they were eating like this. Boop. Raw fish uh -huh. with chili and salt. Bing, bing, bing. All right, is it ready? Yeah. Go ahead. OK, here we go. One Gaston ceviche going down. Mucho, mucho, mucho rico. Mucho, mucho rico, rico. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Who wants? Some Gaston ceviche. Everybody. 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 All right, here it comes. Yeah, I want to thank you so much for this. It was really a great experience. And I want to thank you all, and I want to thank Peru for this amazing dish. Guinea pigs, in some cultures, are the ultimate pets, particularly for children, because they're so small and fluffy. But actually, here in Peru, they're considered quite a delicacy. I'm on my way to my good friend, Rocio, who's actually an expert in making your classical Peruvian guinea pig dish. Hello there. Hi, Shine. Hi. How are How you? you? Fine, fine. I'm happy to be here. OK. And uh, I'd like you to show me the whole process, how you make the guinea pig, the guinea pig. which you call a choyo. Cho cuyo. Cuyo. Cuy. 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 That's cuy. why. Why did they put a yo there? I don't know. No, because cuy. the sound that the cuy make is cuy, 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 cuy. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's why. Cuy, 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 yeah. cuy, cuy. <laughs> so it's a bit strange. It's a very sweet kind of sound. Yeah, yeah. And yet we eat them. But imagine if you have one kui. Okay, you say you, you just listen kui kui. But imagine you have ten, yeah. twenty kui. Kui 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 kui. Ah, shut up. Yeah. <laughs> you can help me. Yes, of course. Okay. I'm here to help. Okay. Because I am street food man <laughs> to help those in need. Okay. We have the kui here. Yes. Right. Only we have to put salt. Uh huh. Okay. So but you don't you don't eat the head. Yeah. Oh, you do eat the yeah, head. Yeah, also eat the head. What was I thinking? The then? nose, the the the, the, the eyes, eyes, everything. You don't. You, you, one. You, you, okay, so we have to put this. All right. Thank you. There. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Here we go. Why do you think it became such a popular dish here in Peru? Well, here in Peru, 
uh, since the Incas, uh-huh. the old cultures, it, it, the, 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 yeah, the cuy was uh, one of the principal uh, dish that they make it. Uh-huh. People who have uh, cancer, yes. yeah, eat a lot of cuy. During treatment? Uh, for a treatment. Of oh, gosh, that is very interesting. Yeah. So, a bit more of the mysteries of Peru are revealed here. There is more than meets the eye, actually. So how, how would you serve this? We, we have to, uh, we serve this with a kind of potato, spice of potatoes. We, uh-huh. we, we mix it. It's a okay. typical, typical. It's oh, amazing. great! Guinea pig and potatoes, my favorite. In the meantime, Chip and Dale are still in the frying pan. We're mm-hmm. waiting for them to... Four minutes, okay. yeah. Okay. Can I see that? Yes. <laughs> Guinea pig, Lucifer. By the way, this in the other hand. Uh-huh. Oh, wow. Remind you of anything? All right, so what's the next step then? Okay. Can we take this? Okay. Please? This chip. So you cut it? Yeah. So and it's ready to eat! So here we go. Here we go. My first guinea pig. Let's try it out. Wait, do you eat this as well? Yeah, you can. You sure? Okay, at the same time. Yes, okay, okay. here we go. One, two, two three. Mm. Mm. That's good. I'm sorry to say this, but you are actually quite tasty. It's original. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Who hasn't heard of the Guinness Book of World Records? The people of Lima are very proud because the fountain behind me is actually in it. It is the highest fountain in the world. The water reaches 80 meters, like a 25-story building. Well, it seems like the people here in Lima really don't mind standing in quite a queue for the dessert that they desire. So you've got a queue over here, you've got another queue over here, and you've got another queue over here. Everyone is a different kind of dessert. And here, what have we got here? Do you speak English? Yeah. Yes, that's yeah. great. Hi, my name is Ishai. My name is Tereza. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is really nice. Uh, but what is this called? It's called Picarones. Picarones? Yes. Could I try making some? Claro. Yes, yeah. great. Yeah. Could, you, could someone help me? Take some here. And then I just... What's the, what is this made of, though? This is made of pu- pumpkin. This is made of pumpkin. pumpkin, yes. Right, so you make a hole there and... and this is terrible. Oh no, what did I do? Wait, man, how about you show me one time? Like that. Wow, this is like a real art. So you make the whole... Okay, can I uh, try again? Yes, yes, thank you. It's... It's sticky, right? Yes. All right, yes! I made it! It's like a donut. All right, and what is this? The honey. Yeah. Okay, so this is mine then. Let's eat it okay. together. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Mmm. Very good. Well, it is precisely 9.23 in the evening, and it is time to inspire the Peruvian mystery with some music. So I'm on my way to meet some local friends who just happen to be fantastic musicians, and they even promised me a little night snack. All right, all right. (laughs) (laughs) How are you? Nice to see you, man. It's the band. Yeah. yeah. Pancho Alfredo, Pancho Roberto. This is for you. Anticucho for you. 
Anti culture. If you stay in Peru, you must eat. What is this? This is hard. It's a cow's heart. Yes, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. All right. And this is a dog. <laughs> 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 but, 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 this is not a dog, right? No, no, no. Oh, oh, this is a cow. cow. Okay, here we go. Uh, mm. How do you like it? How do you like it? I like it yeah. a lot. Mm. Try it. So we call that ají. Ají. Yes, very spicy. Ají. Ají. Yeah. Ají. Okay, try it. All right. Ají. Yeah. Here we go. Ah! Wow. This is one of the most important instruments in the Andean culture. Blow this too. This is a, a top. mule job. This is a mule job. Yeah. Really? I got the power. I got the power. I can actually play some drums. If you, do you have any drums? We have drums. We have drums and we have cajon, we have which many is drums our too. main percussion instrument. Oh, I thought that was a chair. I was thinking, gosh, he's got a nice chair there. Oh, no. No, no, no.